children let us continue the chapter squares and square roots you know the perfect square numbers and also you know finding the square of a given number by using different methods now it is a reverse of squaring now you take one example let the area of a square is 100 cm square then to get the side of the square what you have to do you know that area of the square equals side square that is area of the square equals side square a equals square of the side that is a equals a square now to get a here you must know this area is a square of which number here 100 cm square 100 is a square of which number that you have to find out that is nothing but finding the square root of 100 in many cases we need to find a number whose square is known finding the number with the known square is known as finding the square root so now let us discuss about the square roots for example you take 1 square equals 1 and minus 1 whole square is also equals to 1 then you can write the root 1 equals 1 or minus 1 this is the symbol of square root symbol of square root if 1 square equals 1 or minus 1 square equals 1 then the square root of 1 is 1 or minus 1 similarly 2 square equals 4 and also minus 2 whole square equals 4 therefore root 4 equals 2 or minus 2 3 square equals 9 minus 3 square is also equals 9 minus 3 whole square then root 9 equals 3 or minus 3 from the all these examples you can say that there are two integral square roots of a perfect square number but in this chapter we shall take up only positive square root of a natural number positive square root of a natural number is denoted by the symbol this one that is already given this one the positive square root of a natural number is denoted by the positive square root of a number is denoted by the symbol this one it is root a, read as root or square root root means square root only so here i have taken square root of 16 equals 4 square root of 25 equals 5 because 5 square equals 25 So what is the square root of thirty six? That is six. Square root of forty nine is seven. Square root of sixty four is eight. Square root of eighty one is nine. Square root of hundred equals ten. Like this way you can have. So what is the value of square root of six twenty five? That is twenty five. Now about finding the square root. There are different methods to find the square root. the three different methods of finding the square root are first one is finding square root through repeated subtraction second method is finding square root through prime factorization third method is finding square root by division method now let us discuss one by one first let us discuss about finding the square root through repeated subtraction finding the square root by repeated subtraction we know that sum of sum of first n or number first n or numbers equals n square we know that sum of the first n or natural numbers equals n square that is every square number can be expressed as a sum of successive or natural numbers from starting from 1 every square number can be expressed as a sum of successive or natural numbers starting from 1 so let us take one example so you take 36 36 you know that 36 is a perfect square number and by repeating repeated subtraction of odd numbers starting from 1 let us find 
the square root of 36. Now, first step, you take 36 minus 1, you will get that is 35. Next, 35 minus, next odd number is 3, 35 minus 3 is 32. Next step, 32 minus, next odd number is 5, so it is 27, 32 minus 5 is 27. Next odd number, 27 minus, next odd number is 7, so you will get 20, 27 minus 7 is 20. Next, 20 minus next odd number 9, then you will get 20 minus 9 is 11. Then 11, next odd number is 11, so you got 0. Now, how many steps are there here? First step, second step, third step, fourth step, fifth step, sixth step. So, let us count here. 1, first step, second step, third step, fourth step, fifth step, sixth step. So, here we have subtracted from 36. We have subtracted successive odd numbers starting from 1 and obtained 0 at 6th step. So, we have subtracted successive odd numbers starting from 1 from the 36. We obtained 0. In which step you got 0? In the 6th step you got 0. Therefore, you can write square root of 36 is equals to 6 because in the 6th step you got 0. Now let us take next one example. So let us take the number 121. So take find the square root square root of 121 through repeated subtraction repeated subtraction now you take one by one first what is the number here 121 so you do 121 minus 1 equals what 120 then 120 minus next odd number 3 then you will get 117 then 117 minus 5 it equals what 112 117 minus 5 is 112 then 112 minus next odd number is 7 then it is 105 you know that 105 plus 7 is 112 next 105 minus next odd number is 9 then you will get you know that 96 plus 9 is 105. Then you take 96 minus next odd number 11. Then 96 minus 11 is that is 85. Then 85 minus next odd number 13. That is 5 minus 3 is 2. 8 minus 1 is 7. 72. Next step 72 minus 15. Next odd number so it is 7, 6 minus 1, 5, 57 you will get. 72 minus 15 is 57. Then 57 minus next odd number 17. So then you will get 40. Then 40 minus next odd number 19. So you will get 21. Then 21 minus next odd number 21, you got 0 here. So, it gets said. Now, you count this step. This is first step, second step, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh. In the eleventh step, you got 0. From 121, we subtracted successive odd numbers starting from 1 
and obtained 0 at 11th step. Here we obtained 0 at 11th step. You write that one. We obtained 0, 0 in 11th step. Therefore, you can write what is that given number? 121. You write square root of 121 equals how much? 11. Like this way, let us take one next one. So, you take 49. Write the question. Find the square root through square root of what? 49 by or through through repeated subtraction. Repeated subtraction. Now you take the number start from 49. The root of 49 is to be find out. So you take 49. First odd number is 1. Then it is 48. 48. Next odd number is 3. So it is 45. Then 45. Next odd number is 5. So you write 40. Then 40. Next odd number is 7. Then it is 33. Then 33 minus next odd number is 9. Then it is 24. 24. Next odd number 11. 24 minus 11 is 13. Then 13. Next odd number is 13. 0. Now you count the step. First step, second step, third step, fourth step, fifth step, sixth step, this is the seventh step. So we obtained zero. We obtained zero in the seventh step. Therefore, root forty-nine equals seven. Root 49 equals 7. Now, one number is given. So, you take 55. Now, we have to find out the root if it is a perfect square. So, you write this question here. By repeated subtraction of of odd numbers or numbers starting from 1 starting from 1 find whether 55 is perfect square or not is perfect square or not perfect square or not then write it first one you take 55 minus 1 you take 50 then 50 minus 3 47 then you take 47 minus 5 that is 42. Then you find 42 minus 7 that is 35. 35 minus 9 26. 26 minus 11 you will get 15. Then 15 minus 13, you got 2. Then 2 minus, next number is 15, you will get minus 
2 minus 15 is minus 13. Now you know that here you can't get 0. So what you can say here? Here 0 is not obtained. 0 is not obtained. Therefore 55 is not a perfect square. Not a perfect square. 50 square 5 is not a perfect square. There is one activity for you. Find the square root of the following by the method of repeated subtraction. First one is 81, second 225, 64, 196, 144, 256. Find the square root by the method of repeated subtraction.